Before the formations of urbanized civilization in ancient Europe, all humans were immersed in and felt a deep empathy with their environment. This deep empathy is the essence of animism, which for the vast majority of human history was how we related to and experienced the world. Far from living brutish lives, these ancient animist cultures tended to live quite peacefully with good mental health functioning cooperatively and sustainably. Around the time of the agricultural revolution, there is evidence of a rapid climate change with more frequent droughts and floods, which must have put pressure on food sources for both the settled and semi-nomadic communities. There seems to have been a difference in culture and mythology forming between the settled agriculturalists and semi-nomadic pastoralists around this time. It seems the pastoralists became more patriarchal, valued masculine force and bravery, and worshipped sky gods, whereas the agriculturalists equally valued both men and women, worshipped both sky gods and earth goddesses, valuing peaceful community life more than bravery and force. According to the anthropologist Steve Taylor, the transforming environment helped transform the psyche of the people. A new kind of intelligence developed, a more competitive, self-centered, analytical way of viewing the world. This ego explosion self-perpetuated its own dominance. As we became more in our heads for analytical planning, domestication, and organizing military activities, our heartfelt empathic relation with the natural world weakened, along with our innate primal awareness of nature. It is difficult to define specifics here, and any conjectural theory has its flaws. Yet, a rise of patriarchy seems to have gone hand in hand with this ego explosion. The largely equalitarian cultures of Neolithic Europe were subjected to waves of invasions from aggressive patriarchal cultures. Social equality became a thing of the past as social inequality became the cultural norm. Judaic religion inherited aspects of patriarchal mythology that encouraged a sense of separation between spirit and nature, along with this growing sense of self as separate from the natural world and each other. This increased sense of separation was core to the civilizing and urbanizing effect of Western culture, hallmarked by a separation of masculine from feminine, transcendent from imminent, human from nature, and also humans from each other. In the next podcast, Presencing Life Beyond Illusion, we explore an awakened way of attending beyond the restrictions of egotism and individualism.